What's up guys, it's Marco here and in this video we're going to talk to you about seed farming in El Dorado. So some new information has come, come to the surface. Uh, some players have been testing and trying to do things and uh, basically come to the conclusion that you can fairly reliably get 200k skills, uh, 200k score on this particular map. And um, so, so I went ahead and I tried to test this and from my initial testing and everything like that that I've done, um, a 200k score is possible and I'm currently trying to see how reliable it is on auto battle. Um, there is a, a possibility of getting a 500k score. I have seen that. Um, it's in a video. It's on Reddit. And uh, I'll give you guys a link to the thread um, in my comments below. Um, mainly, I just wanted to try and... There's there's a 200k score on auto. So um, getting 200k score on auto is, is, uh, is a thing. Let me show you the area and, and talk to you about it for just a second. As you can see here, I got 12.75 modifiers for all my seeds, which is pretty freaking amazing. The area is circ uh, circumferring gardens. And the reason why this area is so bloody amazing is because it has three stamina requirement. Um, so to get the... Uh, the 200k score, um, this is definitely one of the most efficient areas in the game right now. The caveat to this is that you cannot have more than, uh, more than two, um, four star cards. Uh, as soon as you get your, uh, ability or your deck level above, I think it's like 156 or something like that. The, uh, the area drops to orange difficulty and you can't get the modifiers again. Um, so far, I have tested it uh, personally on a lot of various classes to see whether or not um, it was just a one-trick pony that he did with Thief or if it's possible to do with all of the classes. And so far, my information is that... Um, at least for manual mode, I don't know about auto mode, I haven't tested auto mode yet, but at least for manual mode, you can get a 200k score with just about any class except for Samurai. And the only reason I say except for Samurai is just is simply because Samurai like one shot kills the, pre, the, the early minions and getting your orbs together before getting to the third round um, is a little bit tricky. Now, you can kind of use um, a different weapon, change out your weapon and stuff, and lower Samurai's attack a little bit, and sometimes you'll get uh, a two hits. Um, so, there are options that you have available. You, the, uh, the only way you're going to be able to get a 500k score on this, I believe, is, is going to be with Thief. Uh, just because of the way Thief lines up with all their stats right now, it's pretty much ideal for this. Um, I, I don't think that it, there's, there's going to be very many other classes that can do it. I will note that Heartful Egg, uh, th this isn't on the, uh, this is not on the thread, but Heartful Egg is, is fairly useful for this, uh, particular strategy and farming strategy and stuff. Now, also keep in mind, this is just for skill seeds only, okay? So this is only skill seed farming. Um, and also keep in mind that you're not going to be able to target a specific element. Um, you possibly might be able to if you can get away with using two single target cards and then use, um, use one card for a seed farming card and then one card, you know, you're, basically your fourth card has got to be Moogle. Um, although if you're just going for a 200k score, I guess you could make the argument to say that Moogle is not really needed either. Um, because if you, if you just simply break the monsters and then, um, and then kill them using weakness elements, there's a very good chance that you're going to get your score that you need and Moogle is not necessarily required. So, 
Uh, there's still a lot more testing to do with this, guys. You can kind of tinker and test with this uh, on your own. I just wanted to kind of point this out. Uh, Circumferring Gardens. Definitely give this a really hard look. Definitely look at it uh, and, and test for your own uh, sake. Let me show you the original thread. Um, just to give this guy credit. Uh, the original thread was done by Un... Unf O One DX. I have I don't know. I totally butchered that guy's name, and I apologize. But um, he has a YouTube video, and um, you can I'll put the, I'll put a link to that in the description so that you can kind of watch him um, do the 500k uh, score on Thief. I'm sure he's tried this several times uh, just to be able to perfect that that initial strategy. I will say this, um, you do not, it is not required for you to get, uh, to have a damage break card, um, to get a 200k score, but it probably is going to be something that you're going to have to have if you want to try for a 500k score. So, um, also four wall is not a required card in the slightest. Um, you can use, uh, earth fan or wind, uh, you can use Windfang if if you uh, want and uh, still enjoy success. Um, the only reason he brought Four Wall was because it's such a high damage single target card, and that's pretty much all it's used for. So uh, I just wanted to stress that as well. Um, so, anyways, uh, yeah, definitely give this guy's uh, uh, thread a look, and uh, I'll post a, a link to it uh, in the comments uh, so that you can look at it and stuff. Um, the link that I post may not be able to be shown on a lap or a, on a PC um, because it's probably going to be a mobile link because that's all I can do on my phone. Um, but you can go to this thread. I mean, it's it's called the secret, so just search for it on Reddit and you'll find it. Um, I think there was one other thing I wanted to do in this video. But I'm not. I can't remember what it was. Oh, I did want to. I did want to share with you that um, I had, as far as like the tower is concerned, the next tower. I went into uh, Madness Unchained with a total offensive setup for Assassin. Basically, my setup was haste Artemis, um, and then two single target cards, and I absolutely demolished. Madness Unchained using Haste and Artemis on an assassin. Um, it was it was pretty scary how how strong it was, um, and I didn't take very many hits. And the hits that I did take were healed by casting Artemis and casting Haste. So I, I want to say that um, an offensive setup using uh, assassin is probably going to be viable for the next tower. So if you're interested in that, uh, let me know and I. Do plan on making a video of that when the tower event comes around. I have a, a couple of ideas for setups and things. So I'll get to those and uh, I'll let you know as soon as the tower event comes around. Again, uh, that setup was Assassin with Haste, Artemis, and then two single target cards. Anyways, guys, that's all I have for this video. Uh, enjoy your seed farming and I'll see you guys next video.